Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're not sure who I am, I'm the third shift couponer. Now I got my name because I go couponing right after I work third shift. It is a really foggy day outside, but that's not going to stop us from going couponing at Walmart. Today is Walmart Thursday and I'm super excited to go inside and see some of these deals. We're going to talk through a spend scenario for the spend 40, get $20 visa on the Nestle products. That is linked in the description box, as well as a printable breakdown and all the rebate apps that I do use and mention are linked down there and you get a little bonus when you sign up using one of those referral links. So let's head inside and see what kind of deals we grab. All right, before I head in store, so this is my favorite parking spot and the spot was already taken, which is fine. So I parked where I am. That person left and then this guy just pulled up and parked. I could have, I thought he was going to hit my car to be quite honest. He's pretty close. And then he is kind of in the middle of both spots. So I'm kind of nervous about parking here and leaving my car because obviously it's going to take me longer in the store. And I don't want another Target situation, so I need to go park in a different spot. So I found two of these, which is perfect because the limit is cheap. They're on clearance for $4.50, and there's $3 when I bought them, making them $1.50. The first deal we're going to do is on these you buy Kotex Balance 40 count specific liners. They are $3.48 and we're gonna grab two of them. So grabbing two of them will be $6.96. And I bother we have a double attaching rebate. We'll get $2 back on each box times two, which will be a total of $4. Then we'll submit to Shop Ma'am for $3 on two boxes, making them a four cent money maker. Another double stacking rebate offer on Ibotta are going to be these poi pads. They are $5.97. So you're going to grab one of them. It will work on the 20 count or the 30 count if your store stocks them. There is a oh the 24 count as well there it is anyway so on ibotta we have two two dollar offers so we'll get four dollars back and then on swag bucks i have 300 swag bucks or three dollars so that will make one of these a one dollar and three cent money maker the first deal is on these huggies little movers or little snugglers they are 9.94 and you're gonna submit to checkout 51 for two dollars and 40 cents on one bag making it just 745. if you prefer to grab the bigger boxes there's great savings on these as well so you can grab two of the little snugglers or little movers they're 24.94 each no matter what size you grab grabbing two of them will be 49.88 and you'll submit to checkout 51 for the two dollar and 49 cent rebate you can do it more than once so you'll do two of them one per box which is four dollars and 98 cents then you'll submit to swag bucks for 700 swag bucks or seven dollars then to ibotta we have three dollars back on each box making them 31.90 for both so the next deal is on the Huggies Skin Essentials. It will be a bundle. My store doesn't sell the small bag, but you're gonna look for the bag of the size you need. The bag should be $9.94. Same with those. It's their Huggies is known for having the same prices on a whole variety of items, which is super nice. The, so $9.94 for one of those. Then you're gonna cram, grab a bag of the wipes. You're gonna look for the 112 count. It is 677. So in this bundle, you would grab a bag of the wipes and a bag, if that was a bag, of the diapers. Your bundle total will be 1671. You can submit to Shopkick for 1,025 kicks. And to find the dollar amount for kick amount, you'll multiply that by 0 0.004. In this case, it will be $4.10. And then on the diapers, we have an offer for $2 on Ibotta, $2 on Shop Meum, and then on the wipes, we have a dollar on Shop Meum. So that will drop your final cost to $7.61 for both. So it's cheaper than even buying a bag of the diapers. Y'all, what I wanna know are why these are so expensive. 
this next seal i couldn't believe online how much these were i had to see for myself so these shakes the pediatric grow and gain they're the six pack um you'll grab two of them for 13.97 each so they'll be 27.94 and then you'll submit two swipe books for 500 swipe books and then on checkout 51 they have three dollars and 49 cents on each one which will be six dollars and 98 cents dropping your final price for both of them to 15 dollars and 96 cents so it's almost buy one get one free but still that's way expensive so they reset this aisle and it looks so much nicer guys I don't have any deals to do but I wanted to see if it was completely empty again also look at what flavors they have for fall they have cranberry crumble cuddle with leather um, pumpkin roll nope sea salt car nope man these these don't they don't sound that good for yeah I don't like the fall scents since it's the beginning of a new month guys what kind of monthly goals do you have this month let me know in the comments because i'd love to know so we have this buy one get one free offer i've mentioned a couple times before so that's about it that i'm gonna mention yes yes y'all we're doing this deal again but that's okay dollar 14 still on rollback so i'm super happy so grabbing six of these will be six dollars and 84 cents we have three dollars on my bottom a dollar on Checo 51 and on Shopkick I have 335 kicks for two of them which is a dollar 34 making grabbing 60s a dollar 50. The next deal took me a while to find just because of this stupid sticker on the front of the box you can't really see the name or anything um but it's on these Harkin um on social nature I have a free offer so I could choose that one or this other one and then on Ibotta we have 30 cents at making grabbing one of these a 30 cent money maker also there's quite a few clearance tags in the candy department like those are and then a lot of the Kit Kats or Reese's other specialty ones are 75 cents these wrap snack chips are also on clearance I felt like these are a newer thing but they're already on clearance which means they're probably not good so the first items you're gonna grab is the Deadpool DiGiorno. You're gonna look for the classic crust. Everything is like soaking wet in my store, so I'm a little nervous to grab anything. I know condensation's a thing, but this is more than normal. I don't know, everything feels hard. Anyway, you're gonna go look for the DiGiorno Deadpool pizza and you're gonna grab five of them. Okay, y'all, I found them. They're on an end cap, so if yours isn't in like the normal DiGiorno area, check your end caps. They have three different flavors at my store, but grabbing five of them is what you need. Then you're gonna come grab four Stouffer meals. It's the single serve. The mac and cheese is not included, so don't grab that one for two seven two ninety seven. You're gonna grab the three forty eight ones. So grabbing all five pizzas and four of those will be $43.72. We'll submit to a dollar on each pizza from on Ibotta and then to a dollar when buying two of each of these. So you'll get $5 in total for the pizza and $2 in total for the, the Stouffer's plus the $20 digital Visa gift card making all nine items $18.72. Don't forget to check your meat area. I know this is easy savings, but some people overlook this stuff all the time and most of my stuff is over half off and you can always freeze it and reuse it later. Or if you buy a bigger pack, you can always portion it out and save half and freeze half. This is exactly how I get the 90% lean and 10% fat. I'm saving $4.05 if I were to grab it, which is over half off. The last seal is on these Tyson restaurant style wings. There's two different flavors. There's the crispy wings or the Parmesan, garlic Parmesan. 
God, that's rotisserie season, just kidding. They're $8.47, you'll submit to Ibotta for $3. And then on ShopKick, we have 560 kicks, which is $2.24, making it just $3.23 for a bag. These are the limited edition ones. They're $3.96, and you'll get a dollar on Ibotta when you buy two. I really like the caramel ones from last year when they had them. All right, y'all, this is a small haul, but this is all I'm getting. And I'll meet you in the car for an after checkout. All right, y'all, we're back in from checkout. And I am super disappointed. My store is out of the knoppers again, or still, I don't know which one. But, um, so that's disappointing. So I was really hoping to grab them. Um, I also wanted to grab the... Nestle deal, but I totally forgot to check my freezer to make sure I actually have room for the, like five pizzas and everything. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then um, probably finish my weekend warrior tomorrow if I have room for the pizzas and stuff. Or maybe there'll be other deals, and maybe I'll make a second video. Who knows? The world. We'll never know until tomorrow. But as of today, I grabbed all 16 items that I showed you. My total came to 38.43. 38.83, my bad. I submitted my receipt to you. I for the $5 for the Rockstar. I forgot to show that in the cart, but obviously I grabbed that. And that is also linked in the description box for you guys if you haven't done it yet i do really really appreciate you guys using my link for that i got a dollar 34 back from shopkick 19 dollars and eight cents is what i got from ibotta i did get the three dollar bonus um depending if i do more rebates tomorrow i'll hit my weekend warrior tomorrow hopefully um I got, I will be giving back $2.74 from Social Nature um, to try this interesting candy bar. It's 140 calories. Date caramel goodness. Uh, hmm. Well, no added sugar. It's woman owned. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I mean, it, it was a money maker, so I'm trying not to grab them as many candy deals for myself because I'm trying, once again, trying to eat healthier. We'll see how long it lasts, but this is a money maker, so I couldn't pass it up. And it's healthy, it's healthier, so we'll see. Then I got back a dollar from Checkout 51. I'll get $3 from Shopmium. And then $3 on swag bucks. And guess what? It is pending. I'm not surprised. But it's... I always check it. Like, the next day, I usually keep an eye on swag bucks. I constantly... That's the one app that I'm constantly checking to make sure the rebates go through. I bought it and everything. I usually... I honestly usually... I see an email that I that I got it. Or, like, the that it went through and then I don't even open the email to see if everything went through to be quite honest. I should get better at that but there's only so much time in the day. So that drops my grand total from my whole haul to 67 cents. Now I did ask you guys in store what your monthly goals are. If you watch my short that I posted yesterday about um, my July budgeting I highly went over so June I only spent like nine dollars cash cost and last month I spent a lot more so they even out a lot but like that's not the point so my goal is to be more mindful about my budgeting spending yes I didn't spend over my what I used to spend but I need to be a little more mindful I need to stop chasing rebates at Walgreens that's where I spend a lot of my higher out-of-pocket cost so I need to be more mindful about Walgreens so that's my monthly um, kind of goal that I want to achieve anyway guys thanks so much for tuning in and maybe I'll see you tomorrow